My Love of Life Energy is a podcast created by Anna Scott. Anna knows that every human being sees life uniquely. In this podcast, she will talk to people and learn from them. These conversations are to shine the brilliance of each human being she speaks to. Join her. After each exploration, you will expand on your insights and see truth and beauty. Good morning and good afternoon, and welcome to my podcast, My Love of Life Energy. Today I'm interviewing, I don't know if it's an interview, it's more of a conversation with Molly Lynch. She is the co-founder with me on our new company called Exquisite Beam. We're hosting a one-day workshop in Oakland on July 20th on harmonic relationships. And one of the pillars of a harmonic relationship that we understand is listening. And we are looking to write a blog. And what I did is I just had a conversation where we listened to each other exploring listening. It was a profound conversation for both of us. I hope you enjoy this. And we look forward to seeing some of you at our workshop. Thank you. Okay, let's let's talk about listening. Okay. How we understand listening. How we so, understand it. Or what it is and yeah, how we see it. So how do you you just started to share with me it's about connection? It's about connection. It's about remembering our connection to others' essence. So if I slow down into stillness with somebody and just listen, I can feel their experience and that's where the empathy lives. Mm. Energetically, like I can feel the vibration of their energy in, in my own self. So it's interesting. I had to, um, I really struggled with this exercise. Mm -hmm try to put into words what is listening. What I saw, I mean, I did see, it's like, um, I first saw my awareness is on myself. Mm. My awareness isn't on the other person. Mm. I don't know if that makes sense. So when you're listening? When I'm listening, if I'm if I'm listening, this is one way to listen mm -hmm. that I found effective. Mm -hmm. Is my awareness is inside of me, mm -hmm. almost like in the center of my head, or but I'm open and curious about you. Mm. And I'm not in my head thinking mm. or judging or evaluating what you're saying. Yeah. Nor am I trying to really understand it. I'm letting it, um, uh, like, a, it's not like, like touch me. Mm. And then I feel the energy and like a knowing comes in. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the presence you're talking about. Yeah. When you, as you're sharing more, it sounds like we're speaking kind of of the same thing. But I've never seen that my attention needs to be on myself. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's your experience of listening, that attention on you. The awareness and like I open up, it's mm -hmm. more of my awareness. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. So yeah, I think that's, that feels like uh, there's that presence. Yeah. It's the awareness of maybe being present or having a presence of mind to settle. For me, it's sometimes to just settle in and go, Oh, I'm listening now. It's not even like, I just know the feeling of switching is sort of into present awareness and listening. And how do you how do you um, recognize that inside yourself? That I'm listening. Yeah, that that presence. Like, how's that feeling? How do you know 
when you're there because you've given me so many beautiful examples and I feel it from you. It's like a, it's a relaxed tuning. It's a, um, there's a curiosity. I think there's something about curiosity. It's like the authenticity of my wanting and curiosity and knowing you or knowing other people that I listen to. Because there's also something about listening that, like I said before, it aligns us into, well, me feels like into a connection with the other through my heart. Mm -hmm. And then there's a, there's a natural flow that happens in that presence. Well, I think that it's interesting because I saw that when I'm aware, I also have to be really curious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does it feel organic that way? Like it's a byproduct. What do you mean? Well, if you're listening, does a, does curiosity sort of automatically is, exist in that experience for you? Yeah, I think that um, it appears. I don't know. Like curiosity is the natural state. Mm hmm. Like. Like, I've never, until this moment, I've never looked at it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. And I, it doesn't have to be just people, right? Like, as I was writing, I heard the bald eagle. And I was like, I could kind of sense, I know where she usually is. And I can kind of sense where she was based on listening to her. And the more that I've listened to her and been in this, what I feel like a connection, I can feel her ener the energy in my in my body. Like when I hear her call, and I thought, and then it turned into the listening to music, and then listening like the experience of listening can be um, sensual, or you know, there's some sort of feeling of being like alive and connected. It's the uh, you like the you know, sound frequencies. It's so beautiful what you just said about the bald eagle. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's um, and the connection. Oh, I never. Do you see when you're really listening that way, do you feel the natural connection? Yeah. Like the connection that's there. Yeah. When, yeah. Like when I listen to you, when I really listen to you, like I settle in and listen, I have an experience of connection, of, um, and then the commonality of humanity in that listening. It's like, if I'm listening, I know that we're not separate. Hmm. I don't know why that just touched me so deep. Yeah. It's funny, I've never slowed down enough to try and look at listening mm -hmm. and um, mm. you know I understand it from an intellectual like tell the story about it and it's almost like um, I could feel when we start this writing exercise like my cells are vibrating mm -hmm. And they're, I'm, they're listening to something. Mm -hmm. does, does that make sense? Yeah. Absolutely. Now, how is it that... Because we both have this experience, and I'm really curious. Um, 
how is it that when we listen to each other, what happens to us? Because we have a profound experience. Mm -hmm. What happens to you when you feel like you've really been listened to or heard? It to me at the translative the translation word is loved. I feel loved. Mm. And I think authentic listening is unconditional. Like I can hear if I let's say listening to myself and listening to either my pain or my grief or if I'm going through a hard moment, like if I can be still and just allow myself to listen to that part of myself, the natural emotion feeling will move somehow. Mm. Like listening is an act of energetic offering. It's an invitation almost. It almost, it, it seems to me in this moment, um, like we're designed, like it's what our bodies are doing naturally. Mm -hmm. And that's the presence <laughs> that I feel with you is that like the noise of the head drops, mm -hmm. the judging, the understanding. Mm -hmm. And we're just dropping into to what this this intelligence does or this body does naturally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's take it is, it's taking time, it's taking the time. It's taking the time to slow down into, it's almost like you, it's like uh, slowing down and sitting down together intentionally. Mm. Listening is. And then I had this whole other thing that came in when I was writing about that, that intelligence you're speaking of, like that, that, thing is listening whatever that is you know might call it god might call it universe but it that's there's something listening to us perhaps mm. Mm. we're being listened to we're being listened to <laughs> yes like why do people pray uh um there's a beauty in uh, what you're speaking of that I don't understand yet. Hmm. You know, it's so um, foreign to me to pray or... Um, hmm. But when you say it right now, <laughs> I can actually feel a larger presence. Mm. And why wouldn't it be listening? Right. Mm. For all those years of feeling so alone. Mm. What you're pointing to right now, or what I'm hearing, is I'm never alone. There's something always with me, like the Divine Mother that we, we you and I refer to. Yeah. That love. Yeah. I think that's what you're speaking of. I, I know nothing for sure, but I have the experience of when I get quiet that if i get really that quiet i can feel the presence and it's a loving presence mm -hmm. and when we we're talking about the curiosity it's like i'm curious about that presence 
and I'm listening. It's like a, it's I'm listening. It's listening. We're listening. And yeah, I mean, that's a whole other conversation, I think, that interaction. But I, I'm curious, what is, the, I don't, did we already go through, but like for you, when you're listening to another person, what is that, ex what is that experience of, of yourself as far as like your offer? Are you offering love? Or are you just listening and it's just the listening is its own experience? Um, that's such a great question. I, I think if I'm really listening to people or when I do that, um, I don't have anything on my mind. There's no agenda. Yeah, that's it. It's just mm. seeing what touches me. Mm. Like what moves me. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while, I know I hear a truth bomb. Somebody will say something because I'll burst out laughing. Right. I've been around when you've done that. <laughs> Um, I, I'm curious, you know, how have you cultivated listening to yourself? Mm. Yeah. What's that about? Well, it's a work in progress, obviously. I don't think it'll, I mean, but the cultivation has been to get quiet. And so my daily meditation practice, that's one thing and walking and listening and really taking the time to listen to the natural world. Like I was saying, like this, like walking yesterday on the cliffs with Annie and like the wind was blowing through the grasses and it was just like, let's just stop and listen. Isn't that amazing? So there, there's all this because, Oh, because it, it awakens something and it wakes, awakens a feeling experience. And it also, I wrote down, it provides the space for things to flow in its natural way. Like if we're just, if I'm just listening, I'm flowing. It feels like flow. I don't know if that's getting out too out there, but I, oh, I feel that's really flow. Beautiful. Um, There's something you're saying that is so beautiful about listening to the natural world. Yeah. And people are a part of that so when I, when i'm listening in that way the the curiosity and the questions come <laughs> <laughs> they having a truth bomb laughter moment oh my god i just have never seen this i've never seen that people are part of the natural world i know that sounds crazy mm -mm, it doesn't you're not the only one oh yeah Maybe like, uh, like the blades of grass, you know. They're like the blades of grass or the mm. trumpet of an elephant or, mm. you know, the, the, the song of the hawk. Yeah. So beautiful. Mm. You know, it's interesting, I... Eh? Um, I wonder in relationships, because I know I've struggled listening to my daughter mm -hmm. and um, and why that's so difficult. I've always been curious, like with her, why it's more hard. For, it's challenging for me to listen to her with open heart. Yeah, right. And um, challenging, yeah. Mm. I just did, like when you say that she's uh, like just a part of nature. <laughs> right. She's her own creature. Mm -hmm. It's very different. Yeah. It's... But I, I really... And like, yeah, like, so you're saying, you know, there's with your open heart. And I think that's the key part. Like, what is that really 
that what is that ex, what is the experience of that because we can listen with our head we can listen with our ears we can listen with our heart we can listen with our beingness which kind of involves it all but there's also stories storylines we write with people I, I just saw um with her mm -hmm. She's a reflection of the parts of my beingness that I haven't been with. Mm. That you haven't heard. And honored. And loved. That's, but I rejected. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. And that's where listening when she's... Um, in a state that I've owned myself and I have no issue with it. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever she wants. I'm, I'm yeah. clean with it. Yeah. Huh? Well, wow. That's really speaking to something really profound because you're, it's like uh, what we were talking about earlier in the week about those feelings of rejection and how we oh. reject or listen. I mean, it must be two sides the same yeah. Yeah. it's like we can't it's like letting it in I there's a beauty it's almost like um uh, this is gonna sound crazy but what I'm feeling is is like a symphony of love listening Mm. And there's a symphony of love. Yeah. So I don't know what I'm saying, but I can feel it. Keeps keep sharing that. Mm. It's like what you said about walking on the, the dunes or the cliffs and hearing the wind. It's like all part of the symphony of life. Mm-hmm. And it's all beautiful, but I'm not judging it. I'm just enjoying it or marveling in it. Yeah. There was a client I had, and he talked about sound and mm -hmm. like train sounds, like the big, and he talked like the discord of it, but he said, that's beautiful too. music you know one of the things that what we've I'm going to say this word cherished about our relationship is the way that we listen to each other mm -hmm. and I guess that's the thing that we're that we're wanting to offer people mm -hmm. Is that yeah. this is possible. Yeah. It's not possible. It's what's in them. Right. It's a remembering or re-reveal. Re mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's such peace in listening and enjoyment. Like when we are, you and I are in that flow of the, like kind of what we're doing right now, but just like in the flow of listening, it's very enjoyable. And yeah. I had a couple of cool social things with a couple of my older friends, like old time friends this weekend. I was just so blessed to be able to sit with them each. And I really listened. I mean, it's not like an effort, but when I love somebody, I, I want to just listen. And there comes organic questions from that. And I hear this more and more of like, no one's ever asked me that before, or I've never heard that question, you know, and, and it's not, I'm not saying as much about me, but the act of provides that it's like, this is a question for you. This is a question for you. So I can know you, but also maybe you can hear yourself answer this question. I don't know. I think, I think that, that when we're in that state, like we don't know what comes through. 
No, we don't. We just allow it to, it's but not it's, even allowance. Yeah. What'd you just say? Well, it's like, um, all of a sudden here's this question and then we try to make meaning out of it, but it's right. like, it's a genuine. It's just the next piece of the song. You know, I've never felt this before, Molly, until right now. I, I must, it, it's obviously there, is how enjoyable listening is. Mm -hmm. I've never known that till right now. Mm. I mean, I think I must at some deep level, but I'm aware of it now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Molly. I think we're good on listening for today. We're good on listening. Yeah. We'll keep listening. Thank you. Thank you.